if you guys are looking to bulk, cut, maintain, whatever your goals are, we're gonna help you get there with this video by giving you top affordable bodybuilding foods. Let's jump right into it. So I just wanted to let you know guys, if you click the first link in the description, you can get our full bodybuilding food guide on a budget sent right to your email. All you've got to do is put your email in and it's going to be something you can print off that's going to really help you guys reach your goals. So make sure to take advantage of that. It's completely free. Number one, you guys probably would have guessed this because it is the king of fitness foods. Good old rice. It's super affordable for its price. Good old rice, it's super affordable for its price. And at the end of the day, it doesn't taste like pizza, but it tastes steady, you know? You can combine it with other foods like chickens and vegetables, and it's so affordable. Here you can see the small packet, not too bad. Medium, you're saving a little bit more, and then at last, the large beast, which is just a crazy deal. If you think of how many, like that'll last me like two weeks to a month depending on how much I'm eating, which is crazy for the price compared to other things. Or even you go out, you eat out, you could spend 10, 20 bucks a meal. So guys, in case you're wondering, we're converting the prices to USD because the Canadian dollar is a little bit weaker. So we're just trying to make sure everyone has a better understanding of what. So we're gonna show the serving size, what it is and why you should have it. So number one is rice. It's a great staple food. You can use it for lunch or dinner and you can use it for cutting, bulk and maintaining. This should be a staple to any diet. Bonus tip guys, make sure you go for the whole wheat alternative. It's gonna help with satiety, get some more fiber in your diet, and make you feel more full, especially when you combine it with some delicious water. Caveat, if you're on a hard bulk and you're having four or 5,000 calories, you might wanna stay away from the more fibrous foods like the whole wheat. Switch over to the white. This is the one time where you definitely wanna do that because it's gonna leave you feeling less full and you'll be able to shove down more of it, and that is the key when you're doing a big bulk or you have trouble gaining weight. Okay guys, and the best part of the video right here is the giveaway winner. It's gonna be on the screen. If you guys want to see how you can win, stay to the very end of the video. We got t-shirts and a lot of other cool things we're giving away to you guys. So make sure, like I said, to stay to the end. Gang, gang. Bah! Next up guys are your meats. Chicken and beef are king. Beef has more calories and bang for the buck, whereas chicken is a great lean meat and it's a staple for any bodybuilding program. However, we're at a really expensive grocery store, like super expensive, like high, high up. So things are nuts. This is 12 bucks for two little breasts. So you're definitely gonna wanna buy in bulk or find a local butcher. You get really high quality cuts. And that's the way to do it. You buy in bulk for beef or chicken. And when you do, you can save a lot of money. You can use beef to make stews with potatoes. Works fantastic. It's another food we're gonna show you, but we the aisle was kind of crammed. So potatoes are another fantastic food, especially to mix with beef. Put the beef with the rice, put the chicken with the rice. They're just great because you can kind of throw it in wherever, or you can have it right after a workout how it is, put in a little Ziploc. They're just such versatile foods that you can have them with so many different things, and they have really good macros on the left. So if you're cutting, definitely go the chicken route. If you're bulking, head over to beef. That's an easy one. So peanut butter is absolutely key. I basically have it every single day. It's a great way to add flavor to your oatmeal or whatever else you're having. You can have it on some bread. But basically, this entire thing is gonna last you a long time. Even if you're having like two tablespoons every single day, it's just great value, good bang for your buck. Get some healthy fats and a good amount of calories And if you're trying to bulk up like myself. Oh, sorry, it's me and my oatmeal. For the better part of six years, I've been running oatmeal every single day. I love it because you can mix it and make it whatever macros you want. In fact, there's entire websites devoted to making oatmeal for your macros. It's like myoatmeal.com or something. Yeah. I forget, but I've used it before, but you can put in fruits, you can put in peanut butter, you can put in protein, you can put cinnamon, you can flavor it up with other things. Like You can really just make it your own. You can put however many carbs, fats, free yogurt, whatever you want it. Such a staple food. I recommend just using it every day consistently. You put it with two soups of protein, that's like 60 grams of protein you're getting, and it's just gonna start your day off so right, whether you're bulking or cutting. Just a powerful start today. It gets me going in the gym. It's great for satiety, and they are so cheap. Look at how big this is for the price. You can't beat that. This will keep you going for a long time. You can use it just, I love oatmeal. That's it, get oatmeal. If you're not on oatmeal, get oatmeal. It's not the tastiest, but you run it every morning, you get used to it, you learn to appreciate it. Okay guys, next up, my recommendation here is buy your veggies in bulk and buy them frozen so obviously you can kind of keep them in the freezer and then instead of throwing it out after each week, I know so many people do that, you'll save a ton of money that way. One thing I also wanted to add for veggies and for just anything really, this crap right here is maybe like 10 bucks, organic's a scam. I'd recommend saving your money, especially if you're on a budget. Don't be you know, going down that route like, I need organic, I need organic. 
highly recommend just sticking to the basics, guys. Before we head on to the next food, so normally you do a time gang, so it'll be like the time of the video in gang, but instead, I want you to comment your three favorite bodybuilding foods or just your three favorite foods in general for a chance to win a free t-shirt and to give some more info to the rest of us, see if we link up, see if we have the same taste, what we like, and see if we can learn together. So make sure you comment your top three favorite foods for a chance to win a t-shirt and just to build some great discussion. Okay guys, and eggs are an absolute staple in a bodybuilder's diet. It is a great source of just like overall fat and especially protein. If you guys have four of these right there, there's 20 grams of protein and egg whites if you guys happen to be cutting. But if I'm bulking, I'm gonna have a bit more of these. I can have five or six and like I said, it's very cheap. I recommend just picking up a, you know, a couple dozen eggs and you guys will save in the long run. Quick disclaimer guys, these are not gonna be the most fun, best tasting foods in the world, but they're effective foods with great nutritional balances. They're gonna get you to your goals. Tons of healthy carbs, healthy proteins, and healthy fats that you need in your diet, especially for bodybuilding. These are foods that will definitely get you there. If you guys want really fun foods that also have good macros, check out our macro hack videos linked in the description down below. So that's just so you guys can understand, these are two different kind of realms, right? These are gonna do the job, they're effective, they're not pretty, it's like a Honda Civic, you know, it's doing the job. They're no Ferrari, but they're gonna be there for you. They're reliable, they get the job done, and that's all that matters, and they're affordable. Okay guys, and next up we've got good old fashioned pancake mix. A lot of people probably don't realize that this could be used as a bodybuilding food, but it's a great source of carbs, and this little thing right here, for as cheap as it is, it is gonna last you a lifetime. Great for before your workout, anything you wanna do try some pancakes. Okay guys, next up we've got this no name raisin and almond granola cereal. Now normally I wouldn't recommend cereal for a bulk that's cheap, but this thing is crazy affordable. So similar to the peanut butter guys, no name is the way to go. It's way cheaper and still tastes pretty solid. As you guys see on the screen there, we've got some sugary, crazy, like expensive cereal that's literally four times like less value than something like this. So give it a try. Next up is milk. People tend to give milk a really bad name, especially 2%. But all in all, it's like the perfect macros. Take this in. So five fat, 12 carbs, nine protein. If you're bulking, those are ideal percentage macros. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people recommend skim or one because the whole fat scare. But as you guys know, fat has a place, especially you're seeing that people are starting to value fat again with the whole keto movement. So you can kind of find your happy medium. If you do need a lower fat in your diet, change the percentage of milk you have, but that's a great thing. There's a ton of play. Now, the caveat here, I personally am someone that believes that we're not really meant to drink milk. A lot of people have that argument, so I'm lactose myself, and that's why like milk isn't for me. But if you can, I say go for it, and if it doesn't bother you. If not, you can get the exact same thing lactose-free, same exact macros. It's gonna run you about double the price, but at the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta work with your body. Don't let it work against you. Don't just chow down milk if it bothers you. Try the lactose-free or the almond. That's another great alternative, but it's really cheap. It's good calories, it's something you can drink, especially if you're bulking, it helps to drink your macros. So there's a quick little tip. Okay guys, so we showed you those foods on a budget in the grocery store, but that doesn't mean you can't go out and have some fun. So basically we kind of have a little bit of an allowance, whether it's 10 to $20, to go out and you know enjoy some foods to help really, especially for me, to bulk up and get more calories. I'm carrying so much stuff for my camera stuff, we're out filming, so really, you know, packing isn't gonna be the best option for me today. Now for some of you guys, it might only be $3, whether it's a coffee um, and a donut from Tim Hortons, but whatever it is, don't just like, kind of like stick to simply eating those foods at home because there is a way to kind of make it fit and really help you reach your goals. If you guys wanna see part two in the grocery store, 500 likes and we will do it up. There are so many more things we can go over to help you guys out and help budget appropriately to reach your goals.